Sister Wives Cody Brown's martyr act is such a joke, he feuds with David Woolley and many other people. Hey lovely viewers, welcome to my shocking news channel. Sister Wives star Cody Brown always feels sorry for himself. He acts like everyone's persecuted him. That isn't true at all. Cody is a bully. Since his spiritual unions with Mary, Janelle and Christine Brown imploded. Sister Wives season 18 star Cody Brown's been wallowing in self-pity and feuding with Christine's new husband David Woolley. Cody's martyr shtick's so tired. To make himself look like a better person, Cody's playing the victim, but he's actually the one who brought the Brown family down. The fact that he tries to make himself look like he's hard done by says a lot about him. This is the man who pushed away a trio of wives because he just stopped trying. After neglecting three good women for years, Cody's playing his little violin. Way back when, Cody was polygamy's poster boy. Steeped in the, out there, beliefs of an extreme Mormon sect, Cody believed that plural marriage was the holiest relationship model. However, unlike the Mormon martyr Joseph Smith, who is, sealed, a Mormon term for, joined with, with 40 women, Cody hasn't been penalized for sharing his beliefs. Sure, he fled Utah in the dead of night, trying to avoid the legal repercussions of breaking polygamy laws, but Cody never got arrested. Now, he pretends that everyone's persecuting him for no good reason. Since he embraced plural marriage, Cody's been richly rewarded. In exchange for, sealing, with four women, he's gained fame and fortune. Now that he's, unsealed, from three females, he's finally able to focus on his, queen, Robin Brown. However, he acts like some, Church of the Devil, a Mormon term for a religious organization that goes against Mormon beliefs, is targeting him and trying to ruin his life. Cody's paranoid, seeing enemies everywhere. As, well, he's abandoned so many aspects of his spiritual beliefs. While he did so, Cody pretended that he was suffering more than the people around him. Will Cody get to the Mormon post-mortal spirit world, paradise, after basically breaking his vows to Mary, Janelle and Christine? Maybe not. He wasn't supposed to neglect them like he did. Cody wasn't supposed to make one wife his soulmate and leave the others to fry. Paradise is only for those who remain faithful to Mormon beliefs. Until death. Mormons believe in an eternal progression which includes three stages. Premortality, mortality and immortality. Sometimes, amid these beliefs, it seems like the rights and feelings of women are overlooked. In fact, Rilajanu's contributor Jana Reese believes that Mormon men are groomed not to listen to women. Sister wives Cody Brown never really listened to his exes. Cody's tried to make himself seem like a sympathetic figure. While doing so, he has attempted to cloak some low conduct. As he's played the martyr, just as Robin does, Cody's conveniently forgotten about the damage that he's done. His exes didn't feel like they were heard. They lost their voices during their grueling spiritual unions with the uber patriarch. However, Cody had no trouble listening to his dainty princess Robin, who fulfills him on every level. Unfortunately, he didn't give his other wives the same grace. Would a true martyr ignore the pain and suffering of three women while lavishing the fourth with affection, money and more? When Cody mistreated Mary, Janelle and Christine and gave Robin 100%, he created a toxic dynamic. The bad blood that this decision generated is still circulating. Now, the exes take to Instagram to share their grievances, they also chat with reporters. His exes haven't forgiven him. Likewise, Cody hasn't forgiven them for leaving him. While it's understandable that his unloved exes would want to vent, his own anger is baffling. These women bent over backwards to accommodate him. They did the housework, gave birth, cared for children, and let him be in charge. In return, they had to deal with a frosty, irritable and deceptive mate. In Sister Wives season 18, Cody told Janelle she didn't listen, but before that, she accused him of not listening to her. This seemed to trigger Cody. He became very defensive, pulling on his brown leather jacket and running for the hills. Cody said she didn't listen right before he fled. Since he got so angry, Janelle might have touched a nerve. On some level, Cody must understand how he's wronged Janelle and the other exes. There's no way that he filters all of that out. So, when he's confronted, 
he goes berserk. Sometimes, facing the truth is hard. In life, everyone has to face difficult truths. Some remain in denial while others learn from constructive criticism. The issue is that Cody refuses to learn. Instead, he embraces a victim mentality that really doesn't fit him. He chose to put Robin first. Cody enjoyed doing that. It hurt the other wives. That was clear to all. However, he tries to deflect. Cody never really wants to admit that falling in love with Robin changed him. Because he only loved one wife, he pulled away from the others. He was mean to them. When he was cruel, it wasn't exactly martyrdom in action. The martyr is supposed to endure cruelty rather than doling it out. What do you think about this video? Please told on comment box also subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching this video.